the rain comes down and it never does stop. And pretty soon it saturates the ground to the top. And the ground can't take any more water in. And all of a sudden, we're flooding again. And there's water in our basements, there's water in our houses, there's water in our pets, and there's water in our spouses, and there's water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink, because the kind of water that's filling up this place really starts to stink with mildew and mold and all that nasty stuff. And sometimes even the toughest of men ain't tough enough to deal with some of the damage that it does, because it gets in your lungs, it gets in your brain, the rain doesn't stop and it drives you insane. And when the rain doesn't stop and it builds up the flood, the earth gets covered with muck and mud and areas that I've been meaning to clean uh, with a whole lot of stuff in them get kind of obscene because that water comes in and mildews and molds. It touches and sucks in everywhere that it can hold. And pretty soon, the whole room is smelly. And I'm sitting there looking at my big fat belly going, hmm, I should have taken care of this a long time ago. But now, I got to throw away a lot of stuff, bro, because it just ain't nice what the moisture does when overflow happens. And this is because overflow causes you to finally see the junk in your life that needs to be cleaned. And so, we come in and we pick up all the stuff that's been soiled. And we throw it away, all the things that have been spoiled. And we try to make new some of the stuff that is old, but we had to rip up the carpet because it's full of mold. And pretty soon, we're back to square one. Bare floors, bare walls, everything is undone. So now we have to redecorate, because that's what happens when you saturate. When the Holy Spirit reigns in your life, the first thing it does is it causes you strife. It gets in your junk and it gets in those places that you try to hide from most people's faces. And it comes into you and it says, clean it up! Because the Spirit of God has had quite enough of your sitting around, growing your tummy. Eating good foods and saying, mmm, yummy. But not tending the garden that God gave you to tend. So now you've got lots more that you need to mend. Because you sat around just pretending to pretend that nothing needed to be taken care of. And now you have to deal with all those things you've been scared of. Because when the Spirit of God rains down and saturates you, something new begins to recreate you. And you clean out those spots that you used to hold that were covered with dust and mildew and mold. And all of a sudden, you realize you're empty. And you say, God, create something new in me. And He comes in and He starts to rearrange your life. Repaints the walls and the floors that were once covered with strife. And now all of a sudden, there's purpose in you. You're no longer storage for things you don't do. But you're filling that void with joy, peace, and love, kindness, and gentleness, self-control, and faithfulness from above. And God starts to inhabit your life. And instead of causing pain and strife, you're starting to change the world one heart at a time. Whether it's through song, through dance, writing a rhyme or whatever you do. Maybe you're a plumber. <laughs> Even that doesn't have to be a bummer because you get into a lot of houses where you could be a light shining for Jesus Christ for all eternity. So let God's rain saturate you today. Let it fill you up and don't turn Him away because He wants to do something extraordinary in a life that you thought was just boring and ordinary.